that's the theme of our blog this week. We've put together our most popular questions and we're here to answer them for you. That is right, I've got the first one. So the first one is, do you have testimonials from past clients that I can read? And I can tell you if your agent doesn't have testimonies, there's probably something wrong. Because I think in no matter what, what whether you're looking for a new dinner place, where to right. shop, whatever, summer camps, whatever it is, probably going online first. So check out Google, check out Zillow, check out their website. I think that's really important. So do a little homework ahead of time. Um, really even the, better than asking them when they're right for you. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. The next one is how will you determine my home's value? So you want to ask your agent exactly how are they coming up with the home's value? And that can be a really tricky thing and it's, it's really in depth. There's no online home evaluation that's going to give you an accurate picture and it's going to take a lot of digging to really get to the bottom of what's the best price that you can get for your home. So for example, some of the first things that we do is we look at what are the most recent sales that are comparable in your area to your home, but then we go further than that as well. We have to look at the condition of your specific home. We have to look at what upgrades have you put into your home that actually do add value. And then we have to look at the current market conditions and what competition is on the market right now. If you're gonna be the only house in your neighborhood for sale at that time, then obviously there's gonna be a little bit higher demand. If there's 10 other houses in your neighborhood that are for sale with a similar floor plan, then we might have to put together a little bit more competitive marketing strategy. So it really, there's no quick answer. It's gonna take a little bit of a process for digging into all of that. What would be a good offer for my home in this market? Understanding the market and being up to date with the latest stats and trends is part of a real estate agent's job. Um, your home very well may sell for more this year than it did a year ago or as it would, you know, a year from now. It all changes. We stay up to date on the market and we'll share the information and updates with you. So another question that we get very often is, can you explain the home selling process from start to finish? So that's an important one to make sure that your agent, a lot of times um, we always get, you know, so we're clear, putting a sign in the yard is the easiest thing we do, <laughs> right? It's the easiest thing you do and there's a long process that goes along with it. Having that relationship with your client and agent is one of the most important pieces to be able to explain step by step, give you clear expectations of how it's all going to happen, what's going to happen, lots of contracts, lots of things to, to talk about, negotiate through and make sure that you are happy at the end of the day. So you wanna make sure that they are able to tell you exactly what they do. If they're saying I can just put a sign in your yard, you might wanna double check and ask another agent. Very true. Um, another question that we get often is, what do you predict will happen with the market in the next six months? Do you have a magic table? I know. <laughs> I mean, and forget that, the next month for yeah. that matter. I mean, it's, it's a crazy time right now and it's really hard to predict, but you wanna be able to make sure you partner with someone that's that's got a good feel. I mean, maybe they've got lender partners. I know that's what we rely on from, from market conditions and what lenders are saying with rates. Um, there's definitely forecasting that we could do based on historical data. Uh, you know, you wanna make sure you're making wise decisions with your house and how you're marketing it. So having someone that has experience on their side and has been through all the different cycles that we've seen in real estate over the years. Some of us have been through several cycles. Yeah. <laughs> Well, not always accurate. It's really good to have experience on your side so you can make sure you're making good decisions. Yes, absolutely. So, next question is How will you market my home? Definitely ask any agent you're considering yes. to sell your home, ask them what their marketing plan is. If they don't have one, then you need to keep looking and keep interviewing. They need to know beyond just having pretty pictures taken and putting them online, what else are they going to do? How are they going to continue making sure that your listing gets in front of? the most people and the right people as well so that you get the most exposure and hopefully at the end of the day you get the most offers. So if they don't have a detailed plan, then you probably need to dig a little deeper. If you'd like to see what the whole team plan is that we put together, check out our website. We have a very detailed plan of exactly what we do when we market homes. Definitely. Yeah. And what projects, if any, should I work on before we list? Um, I think this is a great question. When selling your home, you need to have your agent come out and, and just walk through with you. They can tell you some things you may need to do. Maybe as simple things as simple as touch up paint. Maybe paint the room. You know, maybe just clean up. <laughs> <laughs> or if you have a 
you're in a home that's a little bit older, you might want to think some about updating. Yes, you might need some updating or a home inspector just to make sure some of those big ticket items don't become deal breakers. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. more people should do that. That's a smart thing to do. So the agent can just give you a list, and we can go from there to things to work on. Mm -hmm. And then, can you help me find a new home? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we but do want to make sure we did do that too. But you do want to make sure, all seriously, that the agent. So one of the greatest tools with agent is what their connections in that network, in that area. Being able to use their network, their past clients, their referrals, all things that we talked about that make that agent stronger. So having that outreach in that neighborhood is really what's going to set them apart. Knowing the neighborhoods, the schools the area around. So yes, an agent can absolutely or should absolutely be able to help you find your next home, but making sure that they are well versed and educated and connected in that area is very important. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that gives you some good ideas. If you're interviewing agents, these are some questions that you need to be asking and really considering those answers. And we would love the opportunity to sit down and give you our answers to all those questions. So if you're thinking about selling a home, give us a call. Thanks so much. Bye.